Welcome to an Empower PL video tutorial. We are looking at Google Classroom in this particular video. I'm going to show you two different views. One is going to be a teacher view and the other one is going to be a student view. So you can see that I've got two separate windows open, one of which is in incognito mode, which is the one you see here in the darker gray color. And I'm going to give you just a quick overview of what we see on our screen and where to find different things in Google Classroom once you're logged in. So let's start with this one, which is the teacher view. Uh, I've got several classes here on this account that this teacher is teaching. So you can see all the different classes here. That's the view that it defaults to when I go to classroom.google.com and I'm logged into my account. On the left hand side at the very top, you'll notice that there are three little lines. This is your menu for Google Classroom. And when you click on that, it'll pop open uh, a, an extended menu with all of your details, including uh, the different classes that you're currently teaching. Now, if I was enrolled in any classes, I would also see that list here. But in this particular account, I'm only teaching um, classes. So that's the first thing you see here in this list. Uh, up at the top classes is to, de is to show you what you have on your main screen. So we were to go back just over to the main screen, that's why we see that. If we were to toggle over to calendar, we would actually jump into our calendar that is associated with our Google Classes in Google Classroom. So this is not taking us to uh, classroom.google.com or to our regular calendar, but instead it's just a snapshot here of what we would also find in our in our regular calendar. But this is just a nice view here to be able to see any of the assignments that you have and you don't have to actually leave Google Classroom. So that's really nice. So once again, I popped open that menu. Um, we've already talked about um, being able to see the courses that you're either teaching or are enrolled in. You can click on to review and this would show you anything that um, uh, perhaps has been turned in by your student or um, you've already graded. This is just kind of a nice uh, dashboard look to be able to see all of the assignments, um, who's turned in, like here it gives you a quick view to see if you know you have 20 students and you know if only um, you know 10 have turned in, 10 obviously are missing, how many have you graded, etc. So this is a really nice snapshot of that and you can actually toggle between your classes if you don't want to necessarily see all of the assignments all, all at once you can actually jump down to any one of the individual courses to be able to see uh, those particular assignments for those those classes um, and then the other one up here at the top you can also toggle over to you've got two tabs you can toggle over to reviewed and you can be um, you can get a quick view here uh, as to what you've already reviewed as well in each of these you'll notice there are three little dots uh, this is uh, something that allows you from here to say marked as reviewed for the assignments that have been turned in so I can click on any one of these to be able to go in and see uh, those particular assignments for those um, students let's get back to um, our menu here because we really what we we're going to do in this video is really just kind of get an overview so i don't want to dive in um, just yet until all of that stuff last few things on this menu uh archive classes if you've archived a class this is where you would find it i do want to talk a little bit about settings so let's jump in there um, this really is more around uh, the, the back end of Classroom as a whole, not just an individual class. And so in here, what you can do is turn things like notifications, turn them on or off um, for all kinds of stuff that happens within Classroom uh, and within your individual classes. You can also change your profile information um, from here uh, if you wanted to, so that's this top section. But let me scroll down. So uh, as far as notifications, you can you can decide if you wanna receive those uh, via email. Uh, and you, if you don't, you just toggle that off. Um, you can also decide what you wanna receive them um, uh, related to. So if you're if you see a comment on a post that you've um, put in there, or if somebody mentions you, uh, there's a private comment. What do you want to receive emails on? I'm a huge fan of the email notifications because I will sometimes miss something if I don't get those emails. And so I like to have things turned on. So you can decide uh, on that. And then down here at the bottom, it says class notifications. So this is uh, to turn um, your notifications on for specific courses. So if you decide, I only want to receive notifications for Chromebook Classroom, then you have that one on and you can turn the rest of them off. So this is where you can control that as well. 
So that's it from there down at the bottom. Let's just go back to our classes view. Uh, when you want to jump into a class, you simply just come in here and click on the class and it'll take you straight there. You'll notice you also have up here at the top the review uh, button and then calendar. So that's another way to easily get to those as opposed to from the menu here. And lastly, over here on the right-hand side, couple things. So this is where you log in. This is your account. This is the little op app launcher. If you launch that, you'll be able to see all the different apps that you can just jump over to. And lastly, that plus sign. This is for you to be able to create a class from scratch. So if you're starting a whole new class, or if you need to join a class um, and uh, to join a class, somebody would have to give you the class code in order for you to be able to um, get into uh, a class. So I click on this plus and you get the option to do one or the other. Let's click on join a class really quick because I did want to show you. So uh, I mentioned the class code. So if somebody's created a, a class and they've asked you to join their class, they should give you a class code which you would then just type in here. And once you have that in there, uh, you'll be able to join that particular um, class. And of course, the other option here was to create a class. And that's where you go to create a class from scratch. So you just put in the class name uh, and then the information there. So I'm just gonna go ahead and start a class, holiday cards. Um, no need to indicate any of that. So I'm gonna click on create. Of course, if you have that detail uh, or additional information that you want to add, you can certainly do that. But that is how you create a class. It's that simple to be able to start uh, a class. So that was the teacher view. One difference you're going to see in the student view is going to be that when you go to that menu, and I mentioned this already, you're going to see any classes that you're also enrolled in. So Here's what this account is teaching is this particular course, but then you can see that I am enrolled in these other two courses. Um, and so I can easily click in here to see those. So you'd be able to see both of these if you are enrolled and also teaching, or if you're just a student, you would only see under enrolled uh, what classes you're taking. I hope this overview has been really helpful. Uh, there's of course lots more to explore. Check out for uh, more of my videos on Classroom.